There were many evil and brutal SS guards who worked inside of concentration camps during the Second World War. Many of these men and women had come from normal backgrounds, but inside of the Nazi system they were transformed to become some of the most notorious war criminals in history. Some men became very senior inside of a number of camps, and they became known for their torture and executions of innocent people on a daily basis. One man who was renowned inside of many camps for this was Ludwig Plager, who would make the lives of prisoners a complete misery for nothing but his own personal pleasure. He enjoyed to torture prisoners whenever he could, and he was a complete sadist. But he was seen as a member of the SS, who could have gone further in the hierarchy of Heinrich Himmler's evil organisation. But eventually, at the end of the war, justice would catch up with him. But what is the story of the execution of the sadist of Sachsenhausen? Join us today as we look at this, and remember as always to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Ludwig Plager was born on the 13th of January 1910 inside of Landensbergen, and he had a rather normal upbringing. He left school and then became a farmer for a number of years, but whilst he was in his early 20s, the Nazi party was beginning to grow and expand, with many thousands of people being captivated by Hitler's politics and his speeches. He joined the Nazi party officially on the 1st of December 1931, and he would attend meetings and rallies in his local area, but then in October 1934, he also became a member of the SS. It's believed that Ludwig Plager remained a member of the SS and in the auxiliary until the Second World War broke out, whilst he was still working as a farmer. But then as the Second World War did break out, the SS would become an organisation which would be written in history as the perpetrators of one of the worst acts of genocide the world has ever seen. Heinrich Himmler would oversee the organisation, which would be responsible for the slaughter of civilians following the territorial gains by the German army. They would also become known for their involvement inside the concentration camps. The SS would be the guards of the camps, and they would be the ones who carried out torture, execution and extermination of millions of people across Europe, carrying out the evil persecution that the Nazis put into place. Ludwig Plagg, would then be recruited into the SS to go and work inside of the concentration camps, and he began active service shortly after the conflict broke out, and he underwent a brief period of training before he was assigned to work at Sachsenhausen. Plager was only here less than a year, and he became known for working as one of the most brutal guards. Sachsenhausen was a large concentration camp that opened before the war even broke out, and 200,000 people would be sent there, with around 50,000 being killed at the camp, by either the conditions or the executions and selections of inmates. It was a camp situated relatively close to Berlin, and as mentioned it was an SS training centre, but the camp was seen as a place where the guards would experiment to develop the most efficient and effective execution and extermination methods. Because of this, thousands of Soviet prisoners of war were used in sick experiments to try and kill as many people as the Nazis could, as quickly as possible. At the start of the camp's existence, the executions at Sachsenhausen were done by putting inmates in a small room, which was filled with music. This was known as the next shooting facility, and they were told they were having their height measured before being placed on a measuring device, and behind this was a hatch with an executioner who stood behind with a pistol. As the height was taken, the executioner would open the hatch and would then fire. But the SS found this to be too time-consuming. They even trialled using trenches to shoot inmates, but there was too much panic caused by this, and inmates became harder to control. Then gas chambers were created at the site, but it was a place where a huge amount of slave labour was used, and some of these industries were used to further the German war effort, with prisoners being driven to death to work creating parts for the Luftwaffe aircraft. But as mentioned, it's believed that up to 50,000 people died from exhaustion, disease, execution, malnutrition and brutality. Some were killed by medical experiments, but at Sachsenhausen there was a significant degree of punishment. The punishments were evil there, and the guards would force the inmates to perform the Sachsenhausen salute, where a prisoner would squat with their arms out in front of them for long periods of time. Also, some inmates were forced to test military footwear, marching 25 miles a day, but the food rations were poor, and some people were even tortured using medieval methods, such as the manacles or the strapado, suspending them in the air with their hands tied behind their backs. But public hangings and executions were also very common, and as the war continued, further executions of foreign prisoners of war would continue. But Ludwig Plager became notorious 
at Sachsenhausen and other camps, and he was one of those torturers who made the lives of inmates awful. He was known for forcing prisoners into gruelling punishment in the form of physical exercise. This was known as making prisoners do sport, and these exercises were brutal, considering the prisoners had hardly any food and nutrition to sustain them on, and they were already suffering heavily. Prisoners who were held in quarantine were also forced to do these exercises. Plaga would bellow orders, whipping and beating prisoners, and he was a man who was considered the one who invented many of these torturous exercises. But a group of prisoners, when he ordered them to, would be forced to walk very quickly, sing loudly, run even quicker. They were then forced to crawl on their elbows and walk on the tips of their toes, as well as rolling around on the ground, which had been covered in gravel and bricks, which would be awfully painful. But Plaga would encourage the prisoners to keep going, and he would whip and beat them, driving them forward. He made the prisoners run for hours and hours, and he would watch them with his smoking pipe in his teeth. He then, if they fell, would batter the inmates, and he would force them to continue, even when they collapsed, and the prisoners named him the Little Pipe. But after a short while at Sachsenhausen, Plaga was then transferred to Auschwitz in July 1940, and he became one of the founder SS members of the camp staff. He was one of the first SS guards in the camp, which would become the deadliest concentration camp of them all, with over one million killed there. He stayed at Auschwitz for over three years, and he had a number of different roles at the camp, first serving as a block leader inside Block 11, the torture block. Block 11 was where the torture at the camp was carried out, and there were a number of special torture chambers inside the building. And there was also standing cells where inmates were locked in for periods of time, with hardly any space. Plaga was one of those guards who regularly worked inside the torture centre of Auschwitz, and he then became a rapport Führer. He then worked inside of Birkenau as a deputy roll call leader, and he would also be responsible for executions at roll call. But following being sent to Auschwitz, he was then sent to Meidenek in Lublin, before he was moved on again to Flossenburg concentration camp. But as the end of the Second World War came around, Ludwig Plaga would become the commander of the Regensburg subcamp of Flossenburg. He had also at some point worked at 13 Stadt, where he had also personally been involved in the gassings of thousands of people. But at the end of the conflict, the authorities found out about him, and he was hunted, but he was then arrested. He was taken to Poland, where he was brought to the Auschwitz trial in Krakow, that sought to punish former members of the guard force that worked at the deadliest concentration camp. But Ludwig Plaga would give the courtroom what he thought they wanted, and he admitted to some of his crimes whilst working there. He admitted that he was a brute, who would administer beatings regularly to prisoners, but claimed that he had never killed or executed anyone, and he maintained that he was not involved inside the exterminations of thousands. He wanted the courtroom to see him as a good man, who was just following orders, but this was not the case. There was a huge amount of evidence against him, including his own testimony, and during the Auschwitz trials he was sentenced to death, after being found guilty of crimes against humanity. There were many other defendants who had been found guilty of crimes at Auschwitz, and for this they were executed. The executions took place on the 24th of January 1948, inside of Montelupich prison. The women who were condemned were executed first, but then inside an execution chamber in the Polish prison, a number of meat hooks were found in the ceiling. Passed over these were the ropes which would be used to execute the former guards. Each of the condemned, including Ludwig Plaga, were led into the execution chamber in small groups, and they were quickly led to a stall which was by a noose. They then had their identities confirmed, and they were then secured with the noose around their neck by the executioner, who then without a second's hesitation, kicked the stall out from underneath them, and the former guards were left there hanging, and they were executed. This is what happened for Ludwig Plaga, and following the deaths, many of the condemned had their remains then given to medical science. Ludwig Plaga was a brutal and barbaric guard who worked inside a number of concentration camps. He created many of the brutal punishments that inmates were forced to carry out on a daily basis, and he was also a man who was involved in the executions of thousands of people who died inside of the gas chambers. He was a sadistic torturer, and for his crimes he was executed inside a Polish prison, and he was linked to the evils of the deadliest concentration camp of the Second World War. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.